Many of us are stuck at home because of the coronavirus. Yes, Democrats hate the Republicans and Republicans hate the Democrats and both sides are more focused on winning an election than they are on actually making America a better place. However, it is time to have some perspective on life as it actually is today and perhaps things are not as bad as everyone makes them out to be. Imagine that you were born in the year 1900. The first 13 years of your life are relatively uneventful and very peaceful. And on the day that you turn 14 years old, the world decides to go to war for the next four years of your life. By the time you turn 18, over 22 million people will have died in World War I. In that same year, a disease called the Spanish Flu descends on the earth and runs until you turn 20. All over the world, over 50 million people will die in those two years from the Spanish flu. On your 29th birthday, the stock market crashes and announces the beginning of the Great Depression. Unemployment hits 30% and scarcity and fear takes hold of our mindsets. America nearly collapses along with the world economy. On your 39th birthday, World War II starts. On December 7, 1941, just after you turned 41 years old, the United States is fully pulled into World War II. From the time of your 39th birthday until you turn 45 years old, 75 million people will die in World War II. When you turn 50, the Korean War starts and it will last until you turn 53 and 5 million more people will die in the Korean War. From your birth until you are 55 you have dealt with the fear of polio. Over half a million people die every year due to polio. A cure was only found in 1955. Smallpox was an ongoing epidemic until you were in your 50s and it killed 300 million people during your lifetime. When you turn 55, the Vietnam War begins and doesn't end for the next 20 years. When you reached your 60th birthday, it was the time of the Cold War. You lived each day with the fear of nuclear destruction and the fear that life would end as we know it. When you turn 75, the Vietnam War finally ends during which four million people died. Imagine being born in 1900. How did they live through all of that? When you were a kid in 1985 or 1995 or 2005, and you didn't think your grandparents understood how tough life was at school for you, please remember, your great grandparents and your grandparents were called to endure all of the above. Today, you're called to stay at home, watch Netflix, Amazon Prime, overeat, and sit on your couch in the freedom of your own home. Let's keep things in perspective and be grateful for the liberties, the peace, and the freedom that we have in the year 2020.